China is preparing to showcase at least three new variants of its VN-22 8x8 armored vehicle at the highly anticipated Zhuhai Airshow 2024. Among the new models, a 6x6 variant equipped with a laser system designed for counter-drone operations is expected to make waves, alongside two 8x8 self-propelled howitzers. Reports suggest that one howitzer is armed with a 125mm gun, while the other, potentially named the SH-16A, features a modular turret housing a 155mm self-propelled howitzer, possibly derived from the SH-16 model. These developments mark China's ongoing commitment to enhancing the modularity and adaptability of its military platforms. By incorporating different weapon systems into the VN-22 variants, these vehicles can be rapidly reconfigured to fulfill diverse operational roles, such as troop transport, reconnaissance, anti-tank, and air defense. This flexibility allows for improved operational efficiency and streamlined logistics, as fewer specialized vehicles are required. The modular design also simplifies maintenance and future upgrades, enabling these platforms to evolve and remain effective against emerging threats. The VN-22 variant's modularity follows a global trend where countries are developing vehicles that can accommodate various weapon systems and roles. For example, the Turkish FNSS PARS Alpha 8x8 integrates different turrets and missile systems, while the Otokar Arma in both 6x6 and 8x8 versions can support anti-tank missiles and remote control turrets. Similarly, the Boxer 8x8, widely used across multiple nations, utilizes over 20 mission modules for roles ranging from infantry fighting vehicles, IFV, to command vehicles or ambulances. Other platforms, including the Czech Pander 2, Swiss Piranha, and China's Mengshir 6x6, offer modular configurations for a range of operational needs. China's VN-22 platform, introduced in 2021 by Narinko, stands out for its rapid deployment capabilities and adaptability. It has been noted for its ability to quickly adjust to different combat scenarios, much like the US Striker and Light Armored Vehicle LAV platforms, which can be equipped for roles including anti-aircraft defense and medical evacuation. The VN-22 was initially introduced as a 6x6-wheeled armored fighting vehicle, AFV, targeted at export markets. One of its key selling points is its modularity, allowing customers to mount a variety of weapon systems to meet their specific needs. The vehicle typically operates with a crew of three and has space for eight infantry soldiers. It is fitted with a remotely operated turret that houses a 30mm autocannon, two HJB-12 anti-tank guided missiles, and secondary armaments. Both the commander and gunner are equipped with independent panoramic sights and thermal imaging systems, improving situational awareness in combat. In terms of protection, the VN-22 meets Stanag 4569 Level 4 standards, meaning it can withstand 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds from all angles. The vehicle also incorporates a V-shaped hull to enhance protection against landmines and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. Additionally, the VN-22 features the GL-6 Active Protection System, APS, which is designed to intercept and destroy incoming anti-tank missiles. The VN-22's adjustable suspension system enables it to maintain mobility across various terrains, further adding to its versatility in both urban and rugged environments. In terms of firepower, the VN-22B variant is equipped with a 105mm cannon, which is compatible with NATO standard ammunition. Other variants include specialized vehicles, such as armored recovery vehicles and ambulances. Several countries, including Iraq, Ivory Coast and Senegal, have already imported the VN-22. Notably, Iraq has modified its version by replacing the original turret with a manually operated machine gun system to better suit its specific operational requirements. The 155mm howitzer-equipped VN-22 variant, potentially named the SH-16A, is based on the SH-16 model. The SH-16 is a 6x6-wheeled self-propelled howitzer designed to offer greater strategic mobility while maintaining similar ballistic capabilities to its tracked counterparts. Weighing in at 32 tons with a 52 caliber 155mm howitzer turret, the SH-16 offers significant firepower combined with enhanced mobility due to its wheeled chassis. The system operates with a two-person crew and includes advanced automation for gun adjustment, fuse binding, projectile loading, and propellant handling. This reduces manual workload and increases efficiency in high-pressure combat situations. The SH-16's modular design makes it adaptable to different platforms, from tracked vehicles to wheeled chassis and truck-based configurations. 
This design flexibility not only shortens development cycles but also reduces procurement costs, making it an attractive option for military forces looking to modernize their artillery capabilities. Technologically, the SH-16 incorporates innovations such as laser ignition, modular charges, and an automatic loading system. It also includes a fire control system and intelligent control features that automate critical functions, reducing human error and improving battlefield performance. These systems, coupled with the SH-16's robust mobility, make it a versatile and powerful addition to China's expanding artillery capabilities. As China prepares to unveil these new variants at Zhuhai Airshow 2024, the VN-22 continues to prove itself as a versatile and formidable armored vehicle platform. Its modular design allows it to adapt to various combat roles, making it an ideal choice for countries looking to enhance their military capabilities without overhauling their vehicle fleets. Whether configured for reconnaissance, anti-tank warfare, or artillery support, the VN-22 exemplifies modern military flexibility and the potential for continued evolution. The integration of these diverse weapon systems into the VN-22 variants reflects China's commitment to staying ahead in the global arms race, ensuring that their military platforms remain relevant in an ever-changing defense landscape.